Okay, so we built our custom recovery. We built our custom twerp um, for our own device. But uh, how, do we, how do we change it to be uniquely ours? Um, you can see here, it didn't take up a lot of space. It only took 15 gigs to build that um, as opposed to, you know, over 100 gig for if we were doing the whole thing. So let's go to our, uh, our twerp. We'll go to our target, go to our product. And we look at our um, recovery route. Um, and we want to look at how we can change some things, make it kind of uniquely ours. Um, we did a similar video to this, uh, jump into res here. We did a similar video to this for changing applications in your custom ROM. Uh, we want to do the same thing uh, here for Team Win Recovery Project. Um, so what I'm looking for is the folder we were just in in the last video for the um, <clears throat> images. This is not, not them. What am I missing here? Oh, there we go. Team win res. So here we have our font. <clears throat> what font is displayed? Uh, here we have our images, you know, the little um, pictures that are put up to represent things. I want to look at how we can change some of this stuff to make it uniquely ours. Um, several people have made uh, mods for Team Win that uh, make it look cool and everything. But if we go to our bootable folder and we type that enter.png, then we can open that item location. <clears throat> and what we see here is in our main, main directory, we have bootable, recovery, GUI, uh, and then we have a theme, and inside that theme, we have several different different themes. So which one do you change? Obviously, you could change them all if you wanted them all to be uh, that way, but which one applies to the device that you're trying to build for? Uh, how we can find that, we go back to the, to the device tree, and we go to our Samsung and our JFLTE XX, and we go to our board uh, config, and what do we see here? Uh, Torp theme is going to be portrait HDPI. So portrait HDPI right here. So this is the one that we would edit if we wanted to change some image in here to be different for our uh, specific device. So like uh, here we go. We've got this flash logo. Uh, this is what shows up when you first get into twerp while it's loading. Let's uh, let's install, we'll just use sudo apt get, and we're gonna install GIMP, which is a program for editing graphics. Really great, handy program if you haven't used it before. Um, and we'll, we'll, I'll pause this while that downloads. Okay, great, so it's all downloaded. Now it's just processing and now we can use it. So let's, right click on what we want to edit and we're going to say uh, just open it with GIMP. We're just going to do an example run so we can look at changing a few things. So if I want the splash screen that shows up when I first uh, get into twerp to be something else, you know, like maybe I want to brand it and put put my name on it or something, right? You know, uh, I can be like AKLU, U, Maybe here, let me make this bigger so it'll fit. Right, AKLU and be like, hey, this was this was AKLU, or um, or maybe make it, uh, you know, say something else, you know, like building helps if I'm typing in the right place. So uh, built by the Alaska Linux user. Something like that, right? Of course, we'll uh, merge that down. 
we'll export this as opposed to saving it. We actually want to export it. And it's going to export it as what it was. We'll replace it. We say export. There we go. So we can see that it's changed there. And if we look in the out folder, well, let's let's go ahead and get this building, and then we'll go look at it in the out folder. So we're going to build environment setup. We're going to use our lunch dm underscore js lte xx dash eng for the engineering build, and we're going to mka recovery image. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and build. It's going to take it just a minute because we didn't make clean, so it shouldn't take too long. If we go to our target, our product, our folder for our device, and we go to recovery, and we go to root, and we go to uh, these images, if we scroll down to the bottom here, we'll see there's the regular slash logo. So in a moment, it will hopefully get replaced by the one that I just named. And obviously, you could change out any of the icons to be anything, change the color of them, change really anything you wanted. Um, here they go. They've been replaced. Look at that. There's my uh, logo. Built by the Alaska Linux user. So, you know, just a fun way that you can kind of customize things, especially like on the splash screens, do they, people know, hey, this was the one that, that uh, so-and-so made, you know, might be kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, some other things that you can change in here, you have these uh, XML, open it up, it's gonna open up in the web browser here. Uh, you can change any of these options, and these will be like the height um, or the color of something which is really fun, changing the color with the, the hex color codes and things like that. Um, that one's for the UI. This one's for the splash screen, so that screen that shows up when you first uh, start. We'll open with the edit here. And notice that you could choose a different font. So this is the font name, um, and you could change these in both the files, both the XML to change the font. So where would we find the fonts that we want to change? Um, here we go, fonts. And you would think this is where it would be. And notice that the font that we described is not in here. This readme does not point us in the right direction. Uh, so an easy way to remember how to get where you need to go is just copy this file name and search for it. in here. And there we go. It's searching and it found it. We're going to open the item location. Um, and there it is. So GUI, uh, bootable recovery GUI theme common font. So you could put any font in here you wanted and then tell it to use that font instead. So you can change the, the you know, the colors, the icons, the font, uh, really a lot of fun options of things that you can do in here. So, um, different width, you know, change the whole look of it, really, um, as well as even some of the colors. So keep that in mind. Uh, a lot of fun stuff that you can do there. And that's part of building custom ROM, custom recovery, you know, doing your own thing. So uh, hopefully you found that useful and interesting. And uh, we'll uh, do some more work.